They have been fighting for years to make the road they live along safer. Tonight, they finally have a win. Today, the state removed Kentucky Highway 151 in Anderson and Franklin counties from the National Truckers Network. That move bans semi trucks from this road. WKYT's Victor Puente is in Anderson County with our top story at 5:30. The series of crashes along this road led the Federal Highway Administration to remove it from the National Truck Network. It also led people living along here to sue the state's transportation cabinet. On Tuesday, we told you about the lawsuit filed by a group of people living along Kentucky 151 against the transportation cabinet. They wanted a judge to force the cabinet to limit commercial traffic on this road. Today, the cabinet said the request they made at the federal level back in March had come through. That'll allow them to remove this road from the National Truck Network, limiting the types of commercial vehicles allowed on it. They said, quote, after a deliberate review of all safety factors and recommendations, it is incumbent upon the cabinet to take immediate action, limiting the amount of truck traffic on Grafenberg Road. One of the men who filed the lawsuit said they had a meeting today with transportation officials. He said the cabinet had taken positive steps, but the lawsuit is still ongoing. He did credit the governor and the officials for being willing to listen. They took uh, a giant step toward a resolution. On, of this problem on 151. It's not over. The lawsuit is not over. Isaac said they're still asking for a safety survey of the road. A cabinet spokesperson said they'll be notifying regional trucking companies and law enforcement of the change. Other people living here say they hope it has an immediate impact because the road isn't made for those large trucks. But it's when they're loaded and they hit those rumble strips, it'll just literally jar you right out of the bed, <laughs> practically. And uh, there goes one now. Yeah. A transportation spokesperson said they'll be putting signs up at either end of the road, letting drivers know that certain vehicles won't be allowed. In Anderson County, Victor Puente, WKYT. Also, as a part of that, transportation cabinet officials say they will be notifying local and regional trucking companies of the change so they can let their drivers know as well.